what is chemical energy and what are the different examples of chemical energy before starting the lecture click on the subscribe button and you will get access to hundreds of conceptual videos for free now to learn the concept of chemical energy you must understand the endothermic chemical reaction and exothermic chemical reaction we all know that during any chemical reaction energy is either released or absorbed the chemical reaction in which energy is given off or released in the surrounding is known as a an exothermic chemical reaction for example when you burn something you get heat energy so burning something is an exothermic chemical reaction in which energy is released in the surrounding that's why you feel hotness near the fire while endothermic is a chemical reaction in which substances absorb energy from the surrounding now here if i ask you that why you get heat energy when you burn something to answer this question you must learn the chemical bond formation among atoms now let's consider the structure of water we all know that a single molecule of water is made up of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms now this hydrogen atom is attached to this oxygen atom due to a chemical bond while this hydrogen atom is also attached to this oxygen atom due to a chemical bond so you can say that there is a chemical bond among all these three atoms now here comes the most important part of this lecture due to the chemical bond between this hydrogen atom and this oxygen atom there exists energy let me repeat the statement due to the chemical bond between this hydrogen atom and this oxygen atom there exists energy so you can say that there is energy between hydrogen atom and oxygen atom due to a chemical bond in physics or in chemistry we call this energy between hydrogen atom and oxygen atom due to chemical bond as a chemical energy hence chemical energy is the energy between two atoms or among many atoms due to a chemical bond simply remember that when there is a chemical bond or chemical bonds among atoms there exists chemical energy to further simplify this concept you can say that there is energy capsules between this hydrogen atom and this oxygen atom and this energy capsule is known as a chemical energy thus one can say that this single molecule of water possesses chemical energy now let me give you one another example let consider a monosaccharide sugar like glucose there is a chemical bond among all the atoms in glucose so this glucose molecule possesses chemical energy because there exist chemical bonds among all the atoms in glucose you can also say that there exist energy capsules among all the atoms in glucose now what happens inside your body when you eat this glucose molecule we know that after digestion these energy capsules of glucose will release chemical energy in the cell during aerobic respiration now let think for a while are you eating glucose or chemical energy in reality you and i do not eat glucose we eat chemicals in the form of glucose or food so from this example we also learn that we do not need food 
we need chemical energy. Thus the food, vegetables and fruits contain chemical energy. We need chemical energy. We have to look at all these sources of chemical energy. For example, the banana we eat contains 105 calories of chemical energy. The apple we eat contains 72 calories of chemical energy. The ice cream we eat contains 145 calories of energy. So the banana, the apple and the ice cream we eat contains chemical energy. When we digest them, our body transfers the chemical energy of the banana, apple and ice cream into other useful forms of energy. For example, when you are hungry, you do not even walk or talk properly. But after eating food, you can talk or walk properly because the food you eat provides the necessary chemical energy for your body activities and your body converts this chemical energy into other useful forms of energy like sound energy, kinetic energy, heat energy, etc. Remember that energy enables us to do work. When we eat, we get energy and we can then do certain jobs like running, singing, jumping, etc. The SI unit of energy is Joule, while the SI unit of chemical energy is also Joule. But we measure chemical energy and heat energy both in calories. Can you differentiate between the calories of chemical energy and heat energy? I hope you can. Let me explain the differences. First of all, let me teach you that what is one calorie. In physics, one calorie heat energy is defined as the amount of heat required to rise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree centigrade. The shortest form of calorie is cal. One cal is equal to 4.2 joules of heat energy. Now let me teach you the differences between calories of chemical energy and heat energy. The calories of chemical energy is written with a capital C, while the calories of heat energy is written with a small c. One calorie chemical energy is equal to 1000 calories of heat energy. Or you can say that one calorie of chemical energy is equal to 1 kcal of heat energy. The calories of heat energy is a small amount of energy, while the calories of chemical energy is a large amount of energy. If you have learned the concept of chemical energy, then like this video and subscribe our channel for more conceptual contents. Thank you very much.